So after all this time we have finally received the Sohai Pokemon Go mobile app. While it has had a rough start with servers down most of the time and the game freezing, the game is very ambitious and has gotten many people to go out and explore their surroundings, while of course catching and battling Pokemon along the way. This is such a unique experience and so far away from the essence of their other games that many users are struggling a little bit trying to progress in the game. So after playing the game for a little while now, I want to share with you some of my tips, a secret and my overall thoughts in the game so far. If you're anything like me, you probably freaked out when you encountered your first Pokemon and you started throwing Pokeballs like a madman. As I kept playing the games, I would just swipe and I would miss a lot of the times. The best thing to do when throwing a Pokeball is to press and hold the Pokeball until it starts spinning. This will create what they call a curveball. Take a closer look at the ring around the Pokemon and swipe the ball when it is at its smallest size. Speaking of rings, they're actually color coded. There are three main colors, green, yellow, and red. A Pokemon with a green ring basically means it's an easy catch. A yellow ring is medium hard and the red rings are the Pokemon that are the toughest to catch. Now the rarity and difficulty of the Pokemon will increase as you level up and some Pokemon will actually block a Pokeball when you throw it at him. There's actually an easy way to deal with these stubborn catches, by fake throwing a Pokeball. The way you do this is quite simple. It's the same way when you throw a curveball like I explained in the beginning of the video. The difference is that when you swipe to throw the ball, do not let go of the Pokeball. Keep your finger on it. Pay close attention to your catch and if the fake throw is successful, he will try to block it, leaving you a small window before the Pokemon can recover so you can throw an actual Pokeball at it. As you embark on your quest and you go around your neighborhood, you will find Pokestops and gyms along the way. If you come across a Pokestop, you collect items from these places. But what some people don't know is that they refresh after only 5 minutes. So if you happen to be at a Pokestop and you're going to be stuck there for quite some time, make sure to stack up on items. Now, Pokemon Gems is the only current free way I know on how to get coins. You have the option of buying them with real money in the store, but if you cannot afford that, make sure to pay visits to the rival gyms and maintain control for as long as possible. If you defeat a gym, you have the option to leave a Pokemon defending it. Maintain control for at least 24 hours and you can click on the blue shield to start collecting your coins. These coins can be used to purchase in-game items such as Pokeballs or a lure module. As you catch more and more Pokemon, you have the option to actually transfer them to Professor Willow in exchange for Pokemon candies. So if you come across Pokemon you already own, do not be disappointed. Take the opportunity to catch them and send them over to the Professor. The Pokemon candies will help your Pokemon grow and of course eventually evolve. The biggest secret in Pokemon Go going around right now is that there is actually a hidden Pikachu starter when you first start the game. The way you get your hands on this Pikachu is as soon as the three starters appear, walk away from them, about 30 feet away. They will respawn again, and sometimes there will actually be a Pikachu among them. So if you don't get him on your first try, just keep moving away until you can see your lifelong dream Pikachu. Pokemon Go is such a cool concept with great potential. I know a lot of fans are disappointed because of the rough start, but I can't wait to see what else they're going to bring to the table. I've never seen a game spark so many memes and funny pictures in such a short period of time, so I have no doubt that this game is a topic for many fans in the future. Going out and exploring the world is an awesome feeling, but remember, do not let your guard down. Always be alert when walking on the streets, and above all, stay safe. Well, there you have it guys, those are some of the tips I wanted to share with you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe and leave a like for more of my content. Thank you so much for watching and until next time Pokemon goers I guess.